We use care process models as a way to standardize our approach in the way that we care for patients. This care process model is developed by a team of physicians, nurses, and administrators working together. The thing we look for at first is the evidence that's out there because everything we do is evidence-based and so we look at the literature. Now if the evidence is not really clear, you know, maybe kind of 50-50, you do it this way or that way, then we get a group of experts together to review all of that evidence and come up with a proposed care process model that then is sent across our system to all of our clinicians to review. When we create a care process model, we measure data points along the care process. So we have a care process model for acute coronary syndrome. Part of that is managing heart attacks. Uh, when we manage a heart attack, we're not going to just measure one data point. We're going to measure how long did it take the patient to get by EMS to the hospital? How long did it take us to get the patient an EKG performed? How long from the EKG reading that it, there was a heart attack there did it take us to get them to the cath lab? How long did it take us to get the balloon inflated? And so there are data points that you measure that are based on the care process model, but basically tell you if you're being successful. And then long-term data at points like mortality, readmission rates. Our goal for managing heart attacks are to get every patient from the door of the first hospital to the time they get the balloon being under 90 minutes. And what we need to do to, to get to that point is to measure all the things that happen. So if I'm transferring from hospital A to hospital B, did hospital A take too long or did hospital B take too long? But you don't know that if you're not measuring all of the different points. When did hospital A get the patient? When did they transfer the patient? Um, all of those things need to be measured for you to be able to do process improvement. I use an example of a patient who presents to the emergency department with a uh, symptom complex that's suggestive that they have pneumonia. As those kind of symptoms get entered into the electronic health information system, it will trigger an alert to the physician in the emergency department that says, it looks like this patient probably has pneumonia. Do you want the care process model? They click yes, it pulls up, it has the orders that ought to be followed for that particular patient for finishing up any diagnostic things that need to be done and for appropriate treatment methodologies. They identified colon surgery, it's a common surgery, but there was great variability. So a development team was, was pulled together to, uh, to look at current medical literature. All of these best practices were identified and then measures associated with each of them were identified. The end result in all of this work is we rolled this out one facility at a time. We educated physicians, had to educate patients on what to expect. That was one of the measures is do patients know that they're gonna to need to get up out of bed the day of surgery and start walking because that's what's best for them. Length of stay decreased from seven and a half days to almost five days. That's a big deal. The average cost was almost half because of following the best practice. Do we have it all figured out? Of course not, but we have done a lot and we have put our best foot forward in order to figure out how to do what's right by the patient and the health system and the data is there to support the full mission of our organization.